I will tell you everything you need to know about your support, the problem and the solution. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you according to the time you are hearing my voice and wherever you are hearing me from. If it's your first time on visiting my channel, do it to click on that subscription button, turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss other important videos from me. Who the Zuzu? Yeah, there is God there. Eh? Everything is 100% possible. Today, I want to teach you how you can bring good things from the dream as in when you sleep your spirit will be working for you to bring good things to you in real life yes how you can bring things from the spiritual realm down to real life using your own spirit and if you find this video helpful we'll do well to click on that subscription button turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss other important video from me definitely you have to subscribe if you want to see this face again if you do not subscribe you might not see this face again okay guys click on the subscription button and Anything you don't understand, okay? Ask questions, I will definitely get back to you. This is the seer. I was born with the gift of seer. That's why people call me the seer. I will tell you everything you need to know about yourself, both the problem and the solution. And I want to give you three advice before I proceed to the main, main talk of today. I want to say three things for you. So listen, uh, this I will find very, very helpful if you can comprehend what I'm going to tell you. Now, what am I going to say is that number one thing you need to know about this life is that be very, very careful. Be very, very careful with friends because many angels, the devil is using these days are your friends. The devil uses your friends to come against you. I will use myself as a, as a case study. When I was growing up, right from when I was five years old, my gift was very, very active. Like when my mom gave birth to me, I was covered on white clothes. My body did not touch my mom's body, okay? It was when they tear that white cloth. That was when I started crying. My mom even thought I was dead. To cut the story short, when, my, when I was growing up, the... I will finish my secondary school. I have never touched a woman. I was still a virgin. And my visuals were very clear. To the extent that I will see somebody, I will talk to that person. I will tell you A from... I don't even need to check anything. I will just tell you your name, tell you everything. I will tell you from A to Z what you need to do. And once you do it, and you must definitely see the result. So it was after some wise... Uh, when I finished my secondary school, friends were not telling me about a woman's stuff, their experience. So I was not trying to... Despite I was trying to... As if something was still stopping me to... So, you know, they have to take me to somebody so that they don't want to see it like it happen. And then it happened just like as if darkness entered my face. And I was not seen the way I was seen then. It was later on that the gift was not coming again, but it has not even still come. Or like before that, I can just hold you like this, pray for you, it is done. I don't need to do any other thing. So what am I trying to say? Be very, very careful the advice you give to your friends. So if the devil were to get to you, it will have to come through your friends most time. So be very careful of that, okay? Be very careful of that. I'm talking from experience. I don't know what I'm saying. I want another thing you need to know that anytime you have your plan, always keep it to yourself. Even sure to seek for advice, seek advice it directly so that the person might not know your plan because most of your failures are coming from what you say and you don't know who you are talking to. What I'm going to teach you today is that how to bring good luck from your dreams. Like when you are sleepy, your spirit will be working so it will bring good luck for you. All you need is just a native chalk and salt. Cookie salt, yes. You need cookie salt and you need native chalk. After you have got your cookie salt and the native chalk, then you need a white garment, like white top, which you want to sleep, you'll be sleeping with it, or white gown, okay, or white jarabia, white, okay, that you'll be sleeping, you'll be sleeping with it anytime you want to sleep. After you have gotten your white, you have got your native chalk, uh, that is also in, uh, in Ebola language, and you have gotten your, you have gotten your cookie salt, then you wash up, like for example, if it is new one, you, if it is new, you bought it, for example, you just have to like, that's, out the native chalk, the quantity you want to use, then uh, get enough heart full of salt, breathe on that salt every time. Then you add it to water, then you add the powder, the native chalk to your water, then uh, the, the new cloth you bought, you soak it inside that water, okay? You soak it, use the water to wash it, then you dry it, then you sleep, you'll be sleeping with it. Before you sleep with it, after you have after you have dried it, then you pray on that cloth what you water, how you want everything to be. When you are done praying on the cloth, on the cloth, sorry, then you'll be sleeping with it. But if it is an old one, I'll use it before. Wash the shirt first. Okay? After you have washed the shirt first, then uh, you now soak, you now pour this, put it inside water. That's why I've already washed it, even before you dry it. Okay? Soak this one, uh pour this one, put it inside water, add salt, put it the way I said, then use it to use the particular water now to raise it. Then you keep it in, then after it was to wash the clothes, okay. Then before you wear it the first time, you pray on it. Then if you want to sleep, you wear it. Okay. Then anytime you want to wash the clothes again, maybe the white cloth is dirty, you want to wash it again. 
anytime you wash it, you also follow the same process. After washing it, use this particular water, native chalk as salt, raise it, then you put on it. In that way, remember, let me tell you how this thing works. Remember, eh? most of the things that will happen today have already, already happened in the night. The things you are seeing today now, you are passing on the road, a car wanted to hit you, it has already happened in the night. So, the things that happen this time has already happened in the night. So, you wear this cloth. We protect you from any evil attack from anybody. We we ref, we what we reflect evil and uh, evil energy and attract negative energy, uh, positive energy. So what you are doing this, what you are putting on this particular lack of I told you, there is a particular rule you must obey when you are doing this. Number one, as you are wearing as you are wearing this cloth, when you want to sleep, you sleep with what you want in your mind, not what you don't want. For example, maybe. I'm looking for visa, for example. As I'm putting on the clothes, I will imagine myself, see the visa, give it to me, see me traveling out, then let it be my last stop before I sleep. Not me thinking about, ah, they don't want to give me my visa, they don't want to give me my visa. You will not get the visa. So once you are putting on this white cloth, whatever you think before you fall asleep will be far manifested. So that's why as you have put, as you have do this, uh, before you fall asleep, be careful of your thoughts, be careful of your life, your last thoughts before you fall asleep. So what you think positively, you are thinking of money, you want money and you see that money, you visualize that money coming to you, you will definitely get money. So is this not simple, but very, very effective. You see, eh, one of the most blessed items God have a down for human being is native chalk, is native chalk assault. There are some of the items God have a down because with this, it, they can solve a lot of things for you. If you know how important the, the salt is, you know how many times God measures salt in the Bible, you definitely understand what I'm going to say. Okay, so do this and get back to me. Tested and trusted. Come on, uh, too much now. I'm see, I see, your, I see. Remain your friend, okay? I'm not your boss. I'm a friend, and I don't believe anybody is better than me. Neither do I believe anybody. I'm better than anybody, okay? So try this, and definitely it will work out for you. And another advice I'll give you: you as a human being, this world operates with secrets. This world operates with secrets. God said it in the Bible, ask, it shall be given. Knock, it shall be open. open. But the question is, do you know how to ask? Do you know how to knock? God put this in, he says that what we need is for us to ask ourselves. We don't even need to ask anything. God has given you, in the beginning, God created man and woman, right? And do you think God is still going about creating babies? You watch baby, God will come and create baby and give you. No. In the beginning, God created man and woman, but now God has created in you what we create babies, which is your semen. So also, God has created in you what we create what you want. See, sometimes I wish I had a couple of people's eyes for them to see spiritually. They will definitely understand what I'm telling them. So that's what God has created for you, that will create for you what you want. is your mind. Your mind are two. The reason why God made your mind to be two is this. Because if, for example, the mind was one, that is the conscious mind that is the conscious mind, assuming God made it one. Maybe somebody just do something wrong to you now, you're angry. Then this person just this person has to just go now, you just get accident and die. And the person do you think this will be a bad place? So in order to avoid that, so that you will not make a wish and it come to power, maybe out of anger, God made your mind to be two. Now, the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. Now, when you believe something, when you think of something in your, when you think of something in your conscious mind, then you not believe it in your subconscious mind, then that thing must come to pass. Once the subconscious mind and the conscious mind agree, it must come to pass. That is the reason why when you keep thinking of, when you keep thinking of something in your conscious mind, that it will delay because the subconscious mind will think you have not decided. That is why I always tell people, when you pray about something once, remove your mind from it. Don't think about it again. In that way, the conscious mind will be like, ah, this guy has decided, this is it, this is it. Then that will come to you fast. That's why when you need something, you keep thinking about that thing, that it will delay. And when you need something, you think about it once before you know that it will just come to you. These are secrets that govern the universe. And that is the secret way the spiritualists will explore to pray for people. I explain those secrets to pray for people and they see results. So for, just like I'm using my mind will to work for people and they get the result. So you can also use the mind will to work for people and you get the result. Not to send people thousands, hundreds of money for them to work for you. I have a group for spiritualists. If you want to join that group, let me know in the comment section. But to join that group for spiritualists is not free. I also have general group for, uh, for general for where I make 
prophecies, teaching, interpret dream, and see other people's testimony. If you want to join the general group, that one is free. Let me know in the comment section. Please don't forget to give me a like. It means so much to me. See you guys in the next video. This is always case.